What's going on guys? It is Yaji here, back with another video, and today I'm going to help you guys become better hitters in MLB The Show 23. Now, there are a lot of things I want to touch on, and I want to get the simple things out of the way just so you guys, you know, can get a good understanding of the, just the basic stuff. We all know how there's three different things you have to worry about. These are the three most important stats when it comes to hitting. You have contact, power, and you have vision. So, with those three, this is what they do. Okay, so contact. This pretty much means whoever you're using at the plate has a way better chance at getting the ball in place somewhere when making solid contact with the ball. So when a guy like Bryce Harper, for example, pretty much is at the plate, you let him get the ball in the barrel, he can kind of do some damage, especially with that much contact. So... You know, that's just what he does. Now, contact also battles with the hits per nine stat. And when you look at the hit per nine stat right here, like go to go to Otani. So Otani has a, a 112 hits per nine, right? And you look at Bryce Harper right here. Hold on. You look at Bryce Harper right here because he has higher contact. It's going to win. It's going to win a little bit of that battle and you will still have a, a solid advantage when you're at the plate. But let's say if I'm using uh, JT Remuto, because I'm a little lower, my PCI might, might look a little different compared to a guy like like Harper, who is higher than um, Otani's hits were nine. Now, power. It's pretty much when your player makes good contact with the ball, how far can you really hit that ball? Like what kind of damage will you be doing if you make solid contact with the ball? And if you look at Bryce Harper, I'm he's probably the I think the best guy I really, you know, bat with. I'm batting 315 with him, which is which is it's solid. You know, it's nothing to you know write home about, but it's solid. And I'm he's honestly the, the best guy I like using when he's at, at the bat, you know. So it's really good. So when he makes good contact with the ball with 125 power on against righties, yeah, I feel like nine times out of 10, my hits have really like gone somewhere. And then we got vision. Vision pretty much means this. Vision is where, like say if I'm a little beneath the ball, if I'm a little beneath the ball, this helps in these two scenarios, by the way. If I'm a little beneath the ball where my PCI was, because I have high vision, I could possibly make a play on it rather than if I had low vision that ball might not really go anywhere because I was just not on target so vision also helps your PCI as well um, and then also it helps with the outside plays where say like um, you're trying to hit a ball on the far right side of the plate and you just tip it because you have high vision you can kind of get to, you might be able to get it to it a lot better than if you had low vision if you had low vision you would probably just swing and miss but with uh vision you can probably foul it off and stay in the at bat and this is really good for when your player is in the three two count two two counts and you're trying to stay within the at bat that's where vision can kind of help you out by the way, don't worry about clutch and don't worry about play discipline. Those are just kind of like, all right. I mean, clutch clutch is very simply how good are you at getting guys from scoring position into the into the into the home place so they can score. And also discipline is just your help on check swinging. Low check swing, sorry, low discipline means you have a bad check swing. High discipline means you can have a better chance at check swinging and not going all the way through. Okay, so I'm basically going to show you guys what I do to pretty much get myself ready for when I'm about to play a game online and all that stuff like that. Okay, so what I do is I go over here to the Texas Rangers. I pick AAA. I go over here, pick the team I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to the Beast right here. Pick whatever stadium you want to go to, preferably one with, you know, good altitude. Okay, so then what I do here is when I'm in the menu, pick the batter I want. And then this is what I usually do to start things out. Just to start things out. I go here, take that stuff down, right? Then I go here, and I pretty much put it high, middle, and low. Okay, so what I pretty much do is I go over here and just swing. This is this is just to start out. This is just to start out, right? And I just get used to hitting these. Because the fastballs, they're gonna come quick. You wanna get used to hitting these fastballs, these types of fastballs. Because you're going to face a lot of high velocity guys when you play online for the most part because that's what people like the most. They like high velocity pitchers. 
and let's see yep there you go and you just really want to get used to just seeing these balls pop up in these spots the high middle and low you know it also help you get your pci tracking right because because tracking with your pci is probably the most important thing you need to do when it comes to playing mlb to show you gotta be able to get your stuff on target right there we're just very late by the way you want to try to avoid hitting very late if you can because very lates and earlies will result in a lot of uh plays where the ball just just doesn't go anywhere like okay late right there and i was underneath it that's not good you know you just want to sit here and practice for a little bit just start with the fastballs there you go perfect perfect that's how you want to do it you know, you just sit here, practice this for about, I would say about maybe five minutes, five minutes, get used to these pitches. Cause they're, they're gonna go in each different spots. Right there, another perfect, perfect, going straight to left field. That's how you need to do it. So pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna go over here, go to slider. And what you wanna do is you wanna put the, um, the pitch locations here in the middle, down here on the bottom. And then you wanna do these two right here, these two. Now, if you want to do these two, feel free to do it. That's totally fine. It's up to you, um, especially if you feel like you struggle with these pitches in particular. Okay, we went on this next pitch. And look at that. Perfect, perfect, right off the bat. You really just want to practice. Just just understand how to get to these spots and just track the ball for, for how it goes. Right there, saw it come a little bit towards the left. Now, tracking the pitcher's like hand is, is something you really need to pay attention to you need to as much as you possibly can this is why you want to play on strike zone you want to play on strike zone camera like i i play on strike zone high actually strike zone or strike zone high are i would say the best two camera angles for when you're trying to you know see the most out of the pitcher when he's winding up And look at that another one you want to be able to track that pitch and i know we know where it's going but you got to be able to see the curve these off-speed pitches like a slider like a circle change like a curveball they will have certain movements to it that you have to keep track of now in a baseball game yes it's it, it can be difficult but that's just a part of the grind you know got to be able to understand each of these pitches and just the angle that it's going to right there i could tell more going down here let's see i want to see if he throws one to the right right there it went to the right we just missed it foul it off but you know you just got to be able to keep track of how these pitches move out the pitcher's hand and it look right there slider straight to the spot we got it on the right that time we didn't get it the first time it's just tracking use your eyes but also you know have a good feeling for your for your left stick now sometimes you also want to make sure like right there i went a little too quick with the with the left stick i went a little too quick you want to be able to you, you got to be able to slow down your pci movements you don't want to move too quick like like this you don't want to like you know drop your pci like that right there right there you don't want to do it too quick you just want to ever so slightly just move it i'm not saying move like a snail but you don't need to go so boom like look you see how right there now we're late on it but look where the pci is right there that's that's not bad that's not bad that might be a base hit depending on where the right fielder would be but you get the point though okay so i'm gonna show you guys some examples on how i handle some of these at bats and some of these highlights that i have recorded from past games i'm gonna show you guys what i was thinking what was my thought process and how i got to what i got to in the game Okay, so this is our at bat with Tatis, and pretty much I try to play the waiting game and be patient right there. That sinker was very good. I thought about it, but held my own. Right there, that's a fastball way outside the zone. Again, we're just sitting on anything that's maybe high and in the middle, not even close. Now is a 3 0 count. Now we can make him pay if he throws anything inside. Got me on the edge outside with the fastball. Now we're just waiting for another pitch. And look at that. Good placement with the PCI. And that one's out of here. You got to be patient when you're at bat because, you know, you just don't know the kind of person that you're facing 
you know, when you start out the game. So you want to just take your time and just see what kind of pitcher he is. Is he a guy that likes to hit the edges? Does he throw a lot of balls? Does he throw a lot of strikes? That's what you want to just, you want to get a feeling for what your opponent is as a pitcher. And then right there, 3-0 count, made him pay. That one's going with Bryce Harper. Just be patient. That's all it takes. Okay, so another tip. This is just something mentally, okay? In this game, we were down 1-0, and it was the bottom of the seventh. You cannot lose your confidence in games like this where, you know, you're not hitting the ball as well as you should be. Because there are going to be games where, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's tough on you. So you just got to keep your confidence, keep your cool, and just be patient and be ready. That's the best thing you can do in a, in a tight game like this. Because look at that. Threw us the perfect pitch right down in the zone, and Bryce obliterates it. Okay, so we got Chapman here, and guys, tendencies are huge, okay? Tendencies are huge because they can pretty much tell you what you need to know about the guy you're facing. I skipped a little bit. I feel like he was throwing a lot of inside fastballs. That's what it felt like he was telling me and read him like a book. It's gone. Just read your opponent. Okay. So right here we have Shohei. And, you know, we're, we're still, like, looking around and seeing what our opponent is going to throw. And from what we noticed, tendency-wise, he still throws a lot more balls and strikes. And we're just being patient at the plate, sitting on something right there that was a slider inside. Couldn't really get the most of it. And then right here, listen, every time I'm at bat, I look at this glove. And I make sure that, you know, I'm seeing what's about to come out the hand. You want to look at the glove because that's where the ball is at the moment. And then, you know, we just wait for it. Right? And then right here. This is usually when I really look at the hand as best as I can. And I get to I want to determine where this ball's headed. And you got to be quick on this. And you got to pick up on it. So then right here, he throws it a little high, and I can tell it right off the rip. I can tell off the rip, it's way higher than what it's supposed to be, and I don't notice any dip yet. And I was fully confident this was going to be a ball, and it was. You just got to be able to read these pitches and understand which one, you know, is really coming at you. And see if you can determine any dip, or if it's just a straight pitch like a fastball. And then right here... Look at how patient we are, right? I know it's slowed down a little bit. But, again, we're reading the pitch. We see it come out the glove. I notice a dip a little bit right there. And then that's when the PCI goes down. And we absolutely smack it to center field. And that one's gone. You just got to be able to use your eyes and have a sense of where your PCI is. You got to be able to have both in sync. And then right here, because we rattle him with that bomb, we get one right back at him and then... It's gone. Just really be patient with yourself. So those were the most important things I felt that you guys needed to know when you're in the end game situation, what things you should be looking for and looking to do when you're at bat. So like I said, you wanna make sure you're patient at the, at the plate. You don't wanna swing at everything when you first start the game. You wanna get a good feel for how your opponent is as a pitcher. Is he a dumb pitcher? Is he a good pitcher? Is he a guy who likes to hit the edges? Does he like to throw a lot of strikes, throw a lot of balls? What does he like to do? Get it used to his tendencies, okay? And he uses tendencies against them, especially if he keeps doing a lot of the same things. There are going to be a lot of guys, when you play them, they do a lot of the same things. I'm guilty of it. Some other people are guilty of it when they pitch. It happens. So you want to really use their tendencies against them. Also, eye movement. You need to make sure your eyes are working properly and make sure that you can really read the pitch coming out of the, the batter, sorry, the pitcher's you know hand if you can read that the second it's it's coming out of the hand you have a really better chance at doing some damage when you can really see the ball well and there are going to be games where you really see the ball well and it's those are the best games ever so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope uh these tips helped you guys out leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel um i will see you guys in the next video by the way follow my twitch follow my kick follow my twitter uh yeah, I'll see you guys later.